We're gonna make the crispiest wings you ever had right in the oven. Perfect for football season. These things are flavored up with a spicy blood orange glaze. Set the oven to 425 on convection. I'm gonna put my cast iron in to start preheating. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of oil. I got my wings cleaned up. Now you wanna make sure they're really dry that we can get that skin real crispy. We'll go ahead and season them up with that fire and smoke. That fire and smoke is just a little bit spicier than a regular Creole. It's also got some smoky undertones. And I forgot to hit record, so I'm gonna season them twice just so you can see it. And just for a little bit more flavor, I'm gonna hit it with that Boudreaux's Low and Slow. This does go great on any kind of slow roasted meats. Now we're gonna dust them in some cornstarch. You want to put just enough, that way you get a light coating on every wing. Go ahead and mix them up, that way that coating gets all over. We got that pan nice and hot, let's go ahead and add our wings. Carefully lay your wings down flat, you want to make sure they're in a single layer. Into the oven for 15 minutes, we'll take them out and flip them. Now that our wings are cooking, let's go ahead and get the sauce ready. Throw on a stick of butter. We'll cook down two cloves of garlic. We want to cook that till that garlic is nice and soft and fragrant. When your garlic's soft, we're going to add in some blood orange marmalade. I went in with two hefty spoonfuls. To spice it up, I'm using some of that red limo pepper puree. If you haven't tried that pepper puree yet, I'm going to put a 25% discount code in the caption. When your sauce is nice and thick, let's go ahead and squeeze in some fresh citrus. That's going to really make that flavor pop. Your sauce ought to be nice and sticky and thick at this point. Go ahead and squeeze that citrus in, making sure to catch all the seeds. Now it's been 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and pull the wings out, and you want to flip each one. We're going to put it back in for another 15 minutes. And the secret about chicken wings is you want to cook them long enough where that meat starts to break down, but you don't overcook them. I went ahead and flipped them one more time and then put them under the broiler for another five minutes. Now we're going to take them out and we're going to cover them in that sauce and put them back in the oven and let that sauce get all nice and tacky. Just keep a real close eye on them here because it's not going to take long. You can pull them out whenever they look like this. Now go ahead and pile them nice and high on your serving platter. And I'm not gonna even going to lie to you, this was some of the best wings I ever made. Y'all just let me know in the comments, y'all team drums or team flats.